Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A is a real number. For all positive integers n, the absolute value of A to the power of n is equal to the absolute value of A to the power of n. Now, in proving this theorem, we have already proven the following result. Suppose A and B are real numbers. Then the absolute value of A times B is equal to the absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. And I'll leave a link of the video to this in the description below. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. And since we're trying to prove a statement about all positive integers, let's use induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So really, we want to show that absolute value of a to the power of 1 is equal to absolute value of a to the power of 1. So let me start by writing the left-hand side. We know that any real number to the power of 1 is just equal to itself. So this is just equal to absolute value of a. So in that case, a must be equal to a to the power of 1. So we can replace a with a to the power of 1, just like that. So we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n where this is true. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true where instead of n we have n plus 1. So let me start out by writing the left hand side where we have n plus 1 here. Now one of our rules for exponents tells us that this guy is equal to absolute value of a to the power of n times absolute value of a. Just like that. But then by our induction hypothesis, we know that absolute value of a to the power of n is equal to absolute value of a to the power of n. But now, we can apply this fact that we know. If we do that, then we're basically just putting a to the power of n and a into a single absolute value. Just like that. But, from our rules for exponents again, we know that a to the power of n times a is equal to a to the power of n plus 1. And so, through this chain of equalities, we have shown that absolute value of a to the power of n plus 1 is equal to absolute value of a to the power of n plus 1. So we have shown that this is true, where instead of n, we have n plus 1. So this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So we have proven by induction, we have for all positive integers n, this is true. And so this proves the theorem. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.